Well, we are starting to be in high demand. Dover has reached out to offer us a job interview, just keeping you guys in the loop. Naturally, I have turned it down as part of the goal of this save. Let's get into the episode. Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 21, our Play the Kids Youth Challenge. This is episode 14 at Tiverton Town FC. And uh, of course, last year we made the playoffs and uh, just missed promotion. So hopefully we can do better this year. We're looking for automatic promotion right now, although the board does not expect that. So uh, anyway... Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe for daily football manager content here on the channel. As I mentioned in the intro, Dover have reached out to offer us an interview. We're going to decline that. Tim Cook finishes second in the South Player of the Month award balloting. Four goals, four assists in his matches. And that's not bad for a guy coming off the bench. I am named Coach of the Month for the month of October, so that is good. Just to remind you, in the schedule uh, we went through last episode, I had to re-record uh, that episode, this episode, and the next episode. Uh, but you can see the run of form we're in. The last loss was the second match of the season against Borum Wood, and the last draw was back against Maidstone in mid-August. So we have been on quite a run, including the FA Cup. So we're actually entering the FA Cup proper next month or this month now. So we're coming back with highlights for Barnett today and then we'll play Scunthorpe in the FA Cup first round. Let's go ahead and hit those highlights. All right, we're playing Barnett or Barnett. And that's one of those just plays that you look at and go, how does the wall let him just break cleanly? Uh, Barnett takes the one nil advantage. Mudge is through on the left side is forced back, crosses it to Bissix, and he had come in as a substitute this match. We had had a talk with him about his form lately, and that was a great finish by him. In the 84th minute back post, Hemmings is beaten in the air, and that doesn't happen very often. Uh, 12 shots to 9, we fall short in this one, and our 12-game unbeaten streak is over. Bliss Cotterell was injured in the game. He'll be out for a couple of days. That's uh, that's disappointing. <laughs> that's disappointing. Borum Wood have now closed it to nine points uh, in the table. So we've got that hanging over our head. I have a friendly next. We'll play that and then be back for the FA Cup. We've offered out new contracts to quite a few people. Uh, Peter Davies, 17-year-old reserve striker, uh, signs a non-contract to stick around. And we've got about three or four more contracts. And then once I've got those signed or decided upon, then I'll go back in and reevaluate the rest of the players. Uh, Well, in fact, here they come. Rui Martins has signed a new deal. Uh, Ken Humphreys, our keeper, signs a new deal. Lewis Taylor, our left back. And Lee White, our reserve right winger, have all signed new deals. For one year, uh, they'll stay through the end of next season. So Cook has equalized the club record with 10 assists. Not bad for a reserve. And he is going to be on the field uh, today trying to break that record. Graham Williams set that last season. (laughs) So... That is likely to be a short-lived record. All right, we're back for the FA Cup against Scunthorpe. We're going with Humphreys in goal, a back four of Taylor and Izquierdo on the wings, Allard and Tierney in the middle. Uh, Allard, of course, is in because, uh, because Hemmings is suspended for yellow card accumulation gotten in the last match. Ireland, Bliss, and Bliss Cotterell. Uh, in, in the mid, Nuevo in the number 10, Mudge and Cook. Uh, of course, we are still without Graham Williams for about two more weeks. It would be nice to get one, you know, if we could sneak one, maybe two wins, that would be some 
really solid money. And, you know, we got, we got a couple of, you know, what, $20,000, $30,000, $40,000 in, uh, in the qualifying, but now's where the real money starts coming into play. But it's going to be an uphill battle. All right, we do have the first highlight. Taylor with the throw. Finds Ireland. Laid off to Bliss. And it's blocked away. Oh, that was unfortunate. Couldn't tell who blocked it there. Played all the way back to Humphreys. And we'll reset. There's Allard. Taylor. Oh, he lumps it. It's Mudge. Going deep. Squared into Cookie. And Cook scores his ninth of the season. Mudge with the assist. And we have taken a 1-0 advantage on the road. This was huge. What an opening salvo. Very, very happy with that effort. Very good job, boys. All right, that's cleared out. Allard tracks to it. A flick on header. Mudge is there, and he puts it in. That's his eighth of the season. Benjamin Ireland with the assist on that one, and we are up 2 to nil inside of 15 minutes. Don't forget, we did have a 5 to nothing advantage not that long ago and blew up giving up three goals. And here's their first highlight. It is cleared. Bliss gets it out to Mudge. We've got a counter opportunity here. Squared in. And it's put in by Bliss Cotterell. Mudge with the assist. His first goal of the season for the winger. And it's a three-goal advantage. And uh, just a shout-out to Sean Murphy. I am not going to be rotating players to different positions in this one. Just not going to do it. Not after what happened last time. Uh, we have got to make this stand up. We're going to stay positive. We're going to keep pushing. We are going to spot them with a little bit of praise here. And we have another highlight. be really nice to pop another one here. There's the youngster Bliss getting the start in this one. Laid through. And, oh, that was a nice effort. And they've got a counter opportunity. We got the header from Tierney, but it went right to the opponent. Ooh, and Letty might want to adjust the uh, targeting on his shooting boot. Can we hold him out? Oh, what a block by Ireland. Nuevo's on the ball. Plays it up to Mudge. Oh, he should bury this. It's in there, and we have a 4-0 advantage. Tiverton Town, 4. Scunthorpe, nil. Remember, they are a league ahead of us. Oh, my goodness. Was not expecting this. And I think we'll be very, very happy heading into the locker room. With a 1.37 XG and four goals scored. Pleased with your performance? Keep it going. Encourage them again. We are playing so well. Bliss knocks it away. Comes right back at us. Uh, Tierney, you could have hit Nuevo. Oh, and Humphreys looks like he got a hand on it. Luckily, it's disallowed. But I think Humphrey should have had enough presence to push that one wide. He was well off sides. But it was a good ball up and a great volley. We got lucky that that one was not counted. Way off sides, but I still think Humphrey's... Oh, taken down in the box. Penalties given. It's going to be Mudge. Oh, and he sends the keeper the wrong way. The Tivies 5, Scunthorpe nil into the 60th minute. Let's go ahead and make a sub here. Yeah, this Lowe's guy, they can take him back at midseason, I think. Let's go ahead and bring, I'm thinking Bissix, but let's look at Slam Dunk. No, we're going to go with Bissix for Bliss. 
Ireland for Rawlings. We'll go that route right now. Remember what happened last time we had a five goal advantage. We're not going to do that. Oh, Bliss Cotterell with a cross header. Nuevo gets it to Taylor. Bissick's now on the field. Some good one touch passing, and it's off the woodwork. What a tackle away by Rimmer, or that was going in the net. I think Midge, Mudge got fouled there, and we'll have a free kick from just outside the box. All right, Tierney's caught out by Ald, uh, Abdi, but we have three players back. Nuevo tracks. And that was poor, poor defense. Um, let's tell them to calm down. Poor defense there. Should have done better. Should have done a lot better. All right, let's go ahead and make our last sub. I want to bring off, let's bring Slam Dunk on for Nuevo. Slam Dunk takes the corner and it's headed over. We're into the 79th minute. Tierney heads it down. Slam Dunk finds Rawlings. And oh, that was a poor cross attempt right into the defender. He had plenty of space. The defender wasn't even on him. It's over. Oh, a little lag there. Mudge hits it over the goal. It'll be a goal kick. Come on, boys. Hold on. Cook. Slam dunk. Mudge. Oh, Mudge is tackled and it's taken away brooking on the attack and he takes a crack from range and i'm thinking that hit would work it looks like it did 88th minute how much stoppage time are we gonna have three minutes and there it is we have won fa cup first round matchup mudge plays a 10 wow that is huge and a 7-2 for cook uh, that is a great day from our strike force. How much do we get for that? Oh, I'm excited to see some big numbers. $54,000. That's a big, big win. Mudge, three goals, two assists. Definitely led the line. White's back to full training. And... FA Cup second round. So I guess that will be the next episode. We'll have FA Trophy second round highlights. FA Cup second round match will be played on camera. I'd like to see if they uh, tell us who we're going to play. Uh, let's see. Tierney and Allard are fined and suspended. Oh, boy. Both of our center backs. So they'll miss the second round. What do we have? So Hemmings will be back. Ugh. So we're going to be forced to play Aaron Lowe's. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. He's a left back. Yeah, neither one of those guys can play center. Ooh, that's going to that's gonna hurt. Let's just pop in the U18 here just for, for make sures. So Hemmings will be back. I might play Kevin Brown there, guys. I might. He's better at tackling. Uh, and he's got more pace, I believe. Kevin Brown. There we go. Uh, yeah, not very good. Brown's in the blue. Lowe's is in the green. So green's better in the air. Lo uh, Brown is better at mental. Pretty much everything else. Uh, attacking's a little bit light, but he's a center back. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Brown in that one, uh, barring any changes. Um, but I don't, I don't think we have any changes coming, so <laughs> it is what it is. All right, well, hit that like button. Subscribe for daily football manager content. We've won the FA Cup first round, boys. Got to be happy with that. 
And yes, we'll be back with more cup action next episode. Have a good one. Bye.